What is up y'all? This is Alex from Alex PC Tech again back at you with another video and on today's video we're going to be discussing what are the differences between a surge protector and a VR on automatic voltage regulator and a UPS or an interrupted power supply, uninterrupted power supply. Now first let's discuss what is a surge protector. You might ask my power strip or my electrical cord or extension has a fuse built into it is it also considered as a surge protector the answer is well yes and no yes because they serve the main purpose as they prevent high voltage from reaching your electronic devices or the peripherals that are plugged in and no because on an extension cord or a power strip that has a fuse what happens is when a large current enters your circuit from the main power supply what happens is the fuse gets busted whereas on a surge protector what the surge protector does is that it blocks or it shorts the voltage that is coming from the power draw or the main power draw to a safe threshold where your appliances or your electronic device or in my case my computer is considered as a safe threshold the quality of a surge protector is measured through its joules now the higher the joules the better your surge protector is the main application or the main purpose of a surge protector in my opinion is when you are living in an area where there is a lot of thunderstorms and there is a lot of lightning what happens is when there is a lightning surge the lightning surge can increase for up to around 20 kilo amperes or yeah for around 20 kilo amperes so if you are buying a surge protector for such purpose then it is advisable that you buy a surge protector that has or has the capability to actually support more than 20 kA. Now let's move to the AVR. What is the purpose of an automatic voltage regulator? Now what this does it it regulates or it smoothens out the dips and the surges of power that is coming from your wall to your computer equipment or your your CPU for example or your household peripherals. To an extent, an AVR can also serve as a surge protector as it also has that functionality but not to the extent of the functionality of a dedicated surge protector. For example, an AVR can protect you with only a mere 148 joules of surge protection compared to a dedicated surge protector that can protect you for a an about 900 plus joules of surge electricity that is coming from the wall. So that is one difference that you can actually account for when trying to buy which of these devices is appropriate to you. When buying an AVR, there is what you call a VA rating. So the VA rating specifies how many watts your AVR can handle for it to work at its best. For example, you're going to buy a VA rated, 1000 VA rated AVR. So if you multiply 1000 by 0.6, the main or the main capacity of your AVR will be at 600 watts. That will be the power draw of your devices that you will be connecting to this AVR. So what is the best case to use or where is the best case where you will really need an AVR? One is if you turn on your air conditioning and the lights become a little bit dim on your room or when the refrigerator compressor kicks in and the light dims, this is actually a sign that the wattage or the current on your area is not that stable. So it's best that you buy an AVR for your PC or for your other important peripherals so that the longevity of these devices are more guaranteed. Now, let's move on to the purpose of the UPS. If, for example, you're in an in an area where you are experiencing frequent blackouts and you are not only working on Microsoft Excel, for example, you're working on other programs where it is crucial that you save, for example, on Adobe Premiere sometimes. If your computer suddenly shuts down, you cannot retrieve the project file because it's damaged. Unlike in Microsoft Excel where you have this autosave feature where you can rely on it to retrieve the data that you were working on. So for example, in this case, you would actually need a UPS in case your area has frequent backouts for you to actually save your work before everything goes black. A UPS not only can serve as an AVR or a voltage regulator, but it can also serve as a backup battery depending on the wattage of the 
of course, the peripherals that are plugged into it. For example, a UPS also has the same rating as the AVR, which is the VA rating. If your UPS has a rating of 1000 VA, then a Z if you multiply that by 0.6, then a 600 watt load on the UPS is also guaranteed to have at least 30 seconds to probably 3 minutes of backup battery, battery before it shuts down or dies. So I hope I answered most of your questions regarding the surge protector, AVR, and UPS. Hit like if you like this video, subscribe if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, and please thank you so much to you guys. We are actually on our 500 subscriber, 500 plus and counting. Thank you so much for the support. Without that support, we won't be able to make these kinds of videos and see you on the next one.